And joining us tonight is Dr. Sebastian Gorka, who previously worked in the Trump administration, Fox News national security strategist, former strategist to the president. Uh, great to have you with us. I, I, I am very pleased to hear that Sarah Sanders is receiving a Secret Service uh, uh, protection. I, I think it should be available to everyone uh, of, of any, uh, any part of this administration who is being threatened. Uh, your thoughts? Well, it's the sad reality of the political environment today when you have people on national television, not just guests, not just commentators, but hosts, saying, if you voted, if you just voted for Donald Trump, you don't have to work for him, you're a Nazi, you're a bigot. That's the kind of collective guilt approach that was used by a man called Adolf Hitler when he yeah. built the Third Reich. So the, the left is out of control. And this isn't, this isn't a new story. Remember, Be Betsy DeVos, this started with threats against right. her. Right. We've had threats against... It, it's, you know, this is and the as latest. as far as I know, and, and she's the, had protection throughout uh, for, yes, since that, she uh, has. that incident. Uh, as you say, and this is not new, but the fact is, what is new is that there is not a consequence for this kind of assault and harassment uh, on the part of these. I, I mean, we've learned today this intern uh, who had uh, yelled a, 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 you know, an epithet at the president of the United States, an intern for uh, the, the senator from uh, New Hampshire, he got a week suspension. And, uh, right. you know, with the, uh, the presumption that she was treated like a hero by her like-minded uh, lefties. This is disgusting, it's appalling, and there should be consequences, period. I thought there was a law, frankly, against harassing federal officials, period. Well, the, the, the issue here is it's not just harassment. It's the normalization of violence. What Maxine Walters said was basically trying to provoke violence. When, when you say you see one cabinet member at a department store and you need to create a crowd to push on them, what's that? That's intimidation. That's the threat of violence. And let's remember, James Hodgkinson wasn't a member of the Ku Klux Klan. He was a Bernie Sanders supporter. He's a man who took a rifle and a handgun to a baseball diamond very close to where I am with a hit list of not Democrat politicians, of Republican politicians. And he almost murdered one of them, Stephen Scalise. So if there's any side that's culpable for future uh, violence, unfortunately, no, it's the Democrats, Lou. Yeah, it, it, there's no question. It, it, the, the, the left wing is using thuggery, uh, and it's becoming a, a fringe mob, uh, and it's pathetic what we're witnessing. Very quickly, the, the president, uh, Paul Ryan, again going to, uh, to a vote tomorrow, uh, and holding up the idea in front of everyone who will pay any attention to, to this lame duck, uh, that he was willing to trade our national security for amnesty for millions and millions of illegal immigrants, making him look like a damn fool, uh, making us look like fools for putting up with his life. Yet again, Paul Ryan has proved to the world that the GOP establishment and especially the leadership cannot be trusted. In the prior block, you nailed it, Lou. This isn't just about immigration. This is about national security. The people coming across those borders aren't just children and innocent people. They are coyotes, gun smugglers, weapon smuggling. It's, it's drugs. This is a national security imperative. And the idea that he's going to sell us down the river just to make him and his friends look good at the next cocktail party in Georgetown, Paul Ryan should be ashamed of himself. Dr. Sebastian Gorka, great to have you with us. Good to see you. Thank you, Lou.